Welcome to Lancashire Archives, and today we're taking a look back at some of the transport history in Lancashire. Even today, documents that are over 150 years old are still being used today to help modern businesses and projects. We caught up with Connor Roberts from Network Rail, who was visiting the archives to look at some documents to help with a project currently happening at Preston Station. I've come here today to look at 1980s, like the 1800s up to the 1980s, of water mains that we don't have any records of to help us with uh, future planning. The current, that's a current water main coming in there and we know that to this day and it continues on. Another aspect of transport in Lancashire um, is the development of vehicles and one of the things we have is a brilliant collection of photographs from a company called W&E Harding who were based in Preston and started out in the 19th century as a livery stable and carriage builder. So you could go and borrow a horse or borrow a horse and carriage from them, but you could also go and order your own particular carriage made to your own specifications. And their headquarters and workshops were originally on Pitt Street, which is downside of County Hall now. But it looks a little bit different because you can see County Hall in the background and you can see the railway bridge on Fishergate and their workshops occupied the space in between which is no longer there because when the railways developed they widened the railway bridge and the workshop vanished. But alongside that Hardings was also competing with new developments and new technology and eventually they went from building carriages and they used the same skills of wheelwrights and people who could make the bodywork and people who could do the upholstery and they used those skills to create cars. A lot of people know that the motorway system in Great Britain started just outside of Preston when uh, the Preston Bypass was opened in 1958. But the process to get to that opening in 1958 started a lot earlier. And one of the earliest things we have relating to the motorway system is this, which is called the Road Plan for Lancashire, which was published in 1949. And it goes into quite a lot of detail about why we might need a new approach to motorway transport in the UK and in 1949 there was a lot of change going on and one of the things that they concentrated on was the need to support local trade. We'd lost a lot of the manufacturing and a lot of the huge industries of the past but in 1949 Lancashire was still a huge um, influence in the trade for Great Britain and stuff needed to get in and out of the county. From 1949, there was a major drive to create an adequate road system and Lancashire was being used as a case study. Uh, if it went well in Lancashire, then this whole system was going to be extended across the country. And all that led to the opening of the M6, the first bypass outside of Preston in 1958 and the completion in 1966. 